Are you tired of FPS numbers lower than you can count? Well, look no further. We got the NVIDIA app here that is going to take care of that for you with the simple click of one singular button. And if you have yet to discover this app, all you got to do is pull up your web browser, just look up NVIDIA.com and then just NVIDIA app and then you'll press download beta and you'll go ahead and download this bad boy and then once it does download it'll look something like this on my screen here all you'll do is go down to system and then go to performance and then you'll see this button here that says automatic tuning automatic tuner which finds the best overclock settings for your GPU and maintains that performance on a regular basis all you'll do is go ahead and turn this on and then It'll give you a disclaimer. Tuning your GPU or changing performance limits may cause your PC to show visual artifacts. Perfect, agree and continue. And then this will take a little bit here. It's gonna go through a 10 minute process, roughly, of scanning your GPU. They prefer you to just kind of step away and let it do its thing. Don't go on Fortnite or something like that and start gaming it up. Give yourself a 10 minute break, let it do its thing. And if you're worried about the disclaimer, like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna do this and then screw my PC, luckily, if it doesn't work well for you, there's a restore button that makes this 100% safe so that way if you don't like what it does, you can just restore it to how it was before. And I will see you guys once this is done. All right guys, and when I said 10 minutes, I meant 10 hours. Just kidding, but that's what it felt like. It took me about like probably 30 minutes before this thing was actually done. But as you can see, plus 110 and then plus 200. I don't exactly know what that means, but it did its thing. Um, the only thing left to do while you're still in here is go to your graphics and then go to global settings. And then I'm just gonna read you off and then you can just copy these exact settings. RTX, dynamic vibrance, turn that off. CUDA GPUs, just make sure it's on your GPU. DSR factors off, image scaling off, low latency mode off, unless it works better for your PC to have it on. Max frame rate off, power management, mode prefer maximum performance shader catch size driver default and then vsync use the 3d application setting and then virtual reality off and then there you guys go once you have all those settings applied go and test it out and let me know down below how it works out for you good or bad thank you so much for watching hopefully this helps you out and i'll see you in the next one peace out